My name is Sandra Arnold. I'm a bead weaver and this is my studio. I first started out doing jewelry and I can show you some of my jewelry. Um, this is one of my newer pieces. And then I progressed just recently out of wanting something to do other than just jewelry. And I've started doing beetles. They're close imitations of the real beetle. They're not my designs. They are the actual beetle that I've tried to modify into using beads like that would be close to an actual beetle. Um, and then I also do landscapes and bases. Uh, the cool thing about bead weaving, what I like to do is take metal pieces that I see and see if I can replicate the shape of a metal piece. So if there's a circle, then I can do a circle, which is a, a different peyote stitch than say a flat piece. This is, this is flat. And these are the same colors, but because they're blend, blended and done differently, they have a completely different look to them. This is called a spiral stitch, and, and you can go around and it's got, it's more 3D. It's actually thick. Um, one of the other things I like to do is you can make turns in your beads. So this is basically a pe peyote stitch, which is like the Native Americans did, but it's just a little bit modern version of the color scheme that most Native Americans use. And so this is a peyote stitch with a herringbone stitch in the middle. So you can combine several different stitches to come up with, the, with a piece. And this is a modern landscape that I like to do and it's just straight peyote stitch. So you see how this turns out straight and this has a turn in it. Doing my jewelry, I normally don't have to do patterns. But once I got into doing beetles and landscapes, I had to find a way to draw the pattern easily. Uh, and so I was taught the basic forms of Procreate. So I can just follow along. And as I'm working on one, I can, if I'm here and I'm starting to get lost, I can draw a line and it will keep my spot. So that's really helpful if you are gonna draw patterns. And you can always draw, most people draw them on just graph paper, but since I had the ability of somebody to teach me how to do this, then this is what I use. I also use it for my landscapes. So I've already done this landscape, which is right up there. You can see as I've done it, that I've drawn lines to, keep, to make sure I'm on the right spot. Um, so it's just a basic way that I use to keep my, to keep my place when I'm doing a pattern. This is my collection of beads and this is mainly what I use most of the time. I use what they call Delicas and this uh, is a size 11 Delica which means there's 11 beads basically to an inch. So um, I have a full collection of Delicas. This is called, I've just started collecting these. These are called Toho Delicas, and they're a precision Delica. They're a little bit more expensive. They, uh, they're, they're so precision that each one is the same size. These other Delicas, you have to sometimes cull out the beads that are not the exact size and throw them away, which there isn't a lot. But I can use these better for straight lines like my landscapes or my necklaces that have straight straight lines so that it doesn't wave any. Um, these are these are size 15 delicas and that means there's 15 of them to an inch. They're super tiny. Not many people use them because of how tiny, but I like them because they give a really classy look and they blend in so perfectly. Sometimes you wouldn't know that they're even sewn. Um, and then there are 
uh, seed beads. I don't do these by number, I do them by color. And they have a more rounded edge to them. Whereas a Delica has a flat edge on the outside, this has a little bit more rounded look. I use them for like the spiral stitch or the round peyote stitch because they're going around, whereas the flat ones don't seem to make that turn as easily. My tools that I use are needles, thread, scissors, <laughs> and my true light. It enables you to take colors out and see exactly what color. Blue beads are blue beads sometimes in the shading, and so it just shows you the true color of the bead. Thanks for coming to my studio today. Um, you can look at my jewelry up close and get and purchase some of it when you go to the Art Center in Woodbury. Uh, the Art Center in Woodbury is close to our heart here. Our kids grew up there going to the plays and stuff and uh, they were instrumental in getting me to finally sell my work. So please go to the Art Center and go to their store.